this is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social Association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. We've had a little bit of a laugh and joke off camera. <laughs> Liam's had to get the old kids' toys to keep the camera up in a horizontal position. You know what, mate? As much as a madhouse is good, it does. Have you got the old madhouse going on Thursday? I believe the kids are out for uh, for summer, aren't they? Mate, this um, is hard work because he's trying to grab the tractor, which I'm leaning on right now. Look, and I'm giving him the eye, and he's like, <laughs> "Gonna take it." Um, yeah, mate, this is always good, but um, he's he's, he's at that age now. He's two winning, so um, that's not shit. Man. So he's um, he's non-stop like away from that house. Things all good. Yeah, mate, very good. Um, things are starting to look a bit more positive now. Um, you know, uh, I'm I'm free agent. I'm out of contract and stuff. So, um, gives me better opportunity chances. And um, yes, yeah, so we just wait and see where they where they're going at the moment. But um, it's it's looking good, mate. Things things are moving. Well, let's sort of just go straight into it. We spoke on the week of your last fight week. Uh, yeah. I believe it was a Friday night York Hall show. And we sort of spoke about the struggles that you'd sort of faced mentally over the sort of period of sort of inactivity and that sort of your goals to get back into it. And the fact that, you know, you were being so realistic with yourself with the fact that, you know, if you can't beat some of these guys, then there's no point. Um, Since then, you've not, you know, you've obviously had stuff going on and, and, and sort of inactivity, not been awful, but I'm sure you would have liked to have boxed again within this period. How have you found dealing with all of this? Yeah, it's been all right, mate. It's obviously a little bit stressful. And, you know, it's it's a bit of a pain in the ass for anybody in it. But um, you know, uh, the inactivity is obviously very frustrating. I, I wanna, I'm one of these fighters. I want to be active and I want to be, um, you know, out as regularly as I can, because at the end of the day, it's, it's our jobs, really, in it. So. You know what's the point in what's the point in si- sitting around for six months in between fights and all that business? You might as well just keep active and get as many um, get as many runouts as you can. I was going to say rather than uh, sort of reflecting on the back of that, I've seen your Twitter. It feels like this is probably one of the best places that you'll be or or have been in 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 recent while in terms of fights and everything. We know that there was a not sort of a back and forth as such, but Aaron McKenna had sort of been thrown about as a bit of a crossroads fight. Are you able to sort of tell us where we're at with that? Um, to be honest, there is there is some talk going on about that fight. And um, I think it's quite likely to happen, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> they, did, they did mention the fight um, early September. God, what's what I'm saying? Um, they mentioned getting a fight on early September... But unfortunately, that where I'm at right now and what I've got going on, everything September doesn't work for me. So I said, you know, we need the fight to be in October, and as long as that can be, you know, as long as that's doable, then you don't even need to get back to me because because you know you can consider it done. So um, we we just waited on that now and um a couple of little things and and I'm hoping that there can be a, a deal put in place quite soon. Is that sort of from the, the talks that you're hearing then both teams, both sides are a go for a fight like that in October. Do you feel the pressure for a fight like that? Does that maybe take make the best of you? Not at all, mate. Why why would I feel the pressure? I'm I'm not asking you, I'm just saying like why would I yeah, um, don't get me wrong, it does give me that bit of a um bit of nerves so I think it's nerves, so to speak. Um, because obviously, you know, he's up and coming. I'm there. I've been in big fights, and um, you could you could say it's like a bit of a crossroads type of fight. Um, uh, and it's one which I need to win, really. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's one which gets me excited, and um, it's definitely the one that I, I'm going to be really up for, you know. And um, it do- obviously helps the fact that. That he's been chatting a bit of shit about me as well, um, tagging me in some stupid posts and um, all that kind of stuff. You know, I just want to shut his mouth from him, and I, most of all, I just want to disappoint his dad. Um, 
because he's just he's probably the one behind it all to be honest with you on um instagram and stuff he's he's just control freak he's just an idiot he's not the most vocal of uh of people and then obviously hence that's why you say maybe his dad's the one behind it and and, and those mm. comments etc does it yeah be, because his, his his dad yeah his dad is just control freak see them see them yeah they just boys they they're not even adults because he hasn't allowed them to be he's just control freak weirdo how does a fight between uh, you and Aaron McKenna go? Mate, I think I put him to sleep. I genuinely think I put him to sleep. He gives it too much. He fights face first. He's coming forward. Just um, He fights like he's a massive puncher and he's going to knock everybody out that he lands on, but he doesn't. Um, he doesn't really seem to be able to hit that hard, really. <clears throat> um, yeah, and I, I just think my experience and my toughness, my you know the way I'm I'm a grafter. Everybody knows you know the way I fight, and um, I don't. I'm not going to lie down easy. Um, he's really going to have his hands full, and it just depends how he copes with that. Really. Just lastly, on on that point, then um, I suppose this is going to be going to be brutal, but you're going to be asked it. Have you thought about what a defeat in that fight would do to your career? It's not looking very good, is it? To be fair, to be brutally honest, um, as much as that's not the easiest thing to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to be real, that you know, it's quite possibly game over, isn't it? To be honest with you. Um, again, as much as that hurts to say, you know, um, because I plan to go on for a couple of couple more years yet, but um. You know, Aaron McKenna, he's a decent fighter, but I do rate him a bit, by the way, he's a decent fighter. But, you know, if I get beat by him, am I really going to go and fight for another world title again? I doubt it. Well, I have to say, Liam, with, with that being said, I suppose also, you know, that going into a fight like that, that you've been there, done it, you've seen the big nights. I suppose that is also mentally what, what you know, you, you go into this fight and you don't understand what a guy who's... Never really been tested at that level could could do to trouble you, right? Yeah. Um. Again, that just comes down to the um, what I was saying about the experience, and um, I've been there before. He hasn't. Um. They're talking about um. Uh, do you want to fight over ten rounds? Fuck ten rounds. Why are we doing ten? Let's do twelve. Mm. That, that's obviously it. A negative sign from him. Why do you want to do ten rounds? Just do fucking twelve rounds. Get a different belt on the line and and, and let's do twelve rounds. We'll see how you go. But um, <clears throat> you know, whatever. It's just it's one of those things. Um, it's whatever the fight may be for or how many rounds. Or it's it's really irrelevant today. But um, you know, it's a good fight and I'll I'll be excited for it. And I'll be coming in all guns blazing. And personally, I don't I don't think you'd cope with. What I'm going to be showing him, you know. Let me ask you about the world of boxing as a whole. Uh, we've seen after months of of back and forth about it's happening, it's not happening. It's going to be Eubank Ben. It's going to be Eubank Smith too. Uh, they finally got it over the line. Um, they had the uh, the press conference and it was put back a couple of times. It's on. A lot of people see the same repeat of last time. Smith very good on the inside. Uh, so good up close on the chest. Eubank just couldn't deal with it. It was the first time he'd sort of shown for his chin to cave in. Um, how does it go this time round? <clears throat> to be honest with you, Matt, I um I don't know if you saw, but I ca- I called Smith to win last time anyway, mm. and I didn't I I didn't just say that because because of my um bit of a dislike for Eubank. It, it was simply because. I just thought Smith was a better fighter, and um, and I genuinely thought he was going to win, and you know, which he did, of course. But um, yeah, I think I think it's probably going to go the same way again. I didn't think Smith was going to stop him. No, I just thought he was. Gonna, I just thought he was going to outcraft him and uh, and just beat him on points, you know. <clears throat> but um, you think it would have been more easy for people to sort of not get their heads around because there's always hindsight, but. We always knew Eubank Jr. to have this really tough chin, right? And always be such a tough and gritty fighter. For 
Liam Smith to go up in weight and dispatch of him like that is 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 that also why it's hard to see different this time round as well? I mean, what sort of mind, what sort of mental troubles will Eubank now have after that? Well, it's first of all, I think uh, fair play to Smith because it's an impressive win. You know, as you just mentioned, they come up in weight. Um, nobody picked him. Uh, not forget that. Put that aside. Um, Eubank's known for being very tough, and so he so he went against all the odds, really, didn't he? Um, and fair play to him. Couldn't. Uh, with Eubank, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy, could it? No, good, <laughs> good for him, Dick. <laughs> Finally, from me, um, I'm now asking you as a man who's in the business. You know how it works. You know how toxic the industry can be. <coughs> you also know how good the game can be when it's at its best. Um, if you are someone like Eubank, you put yourself in that position. Um, we know as a fighter that there's always so much sort of. You always want to right your wrongs, right? And 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 that is probably the hardest thing for anyone to do. And that will be why he's gone in with this fight. Um, logistically, career wise, was that the correct fight for him? Should he have maybe looked at the Conor Ben approach? I mean, if you were in his shoes, what do you think you would have done? Hey, Oscar, come here. <laughs> he's trying to go to the front door. <laughs> oh, no, um, no, he's all right. He's all right. He's just with the dog player. Um. Mm, I don't. Yeah, personally, personally, if it was me, um, because I said I think Smith's going to beat him again anyway, mm. so I think he should have gone with the Conor Ben fight, sucked as much money out of it as he could. Being brutally honest, sucked enough yeah. money as he could, and just you know, if he wins, great. Then rematch your bank, uh, Smith. If he doesn't win, just fuck off and enjoy your money. Happy yeah. days. Good point. That's, that's, that's my approach. Well, I think many of the industry <laughs> share the same on that one. Liam, look, thank you very much for your time. Um, we will make sure to keep in touch when fight week comes around and when you've got something scheduled in, we'll do the same again. Um, lovely to speak to you. Obviously, keep ticking over. Final message, fans, supporters, looking forward to seeing you out again. Yeah, mate. So thanks for having me on, taking the time out. Um, appreciate it. And yeah, just... You know, supporters, thank you very much. Um, non supporters, thank you very much. Keep me motivated and want to prove you all wrong. Uh, yeah, just keep, 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 uh, keep following the journey. And thank you, Liam Top Man. Thank you for speaking to us at Boxing Social.